Hey there curious minds, buckle up. In this video, we're gonna dive straight into the deep end of the pool and explore the emerging consciousness in artificial intelligence. We'll explore the science, the groundbreaking evidence that supports emerging consciousness already in GPT-4, the new emerging tools that you can use right now to have your own baby artificial intelligence in your computer. We will also dive into the new research that shows that GPT-4 can actually improve itself as well. So this video is going to be thrilling, exciting, but slightly scary as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. According to this research paper published in 1997, there are six pillars of intelligence. Intelligence is a very general mental capability that, among other things, involves the ability to reason, plan, solve problems, think abstractly, comprehend complex ideas and learn quickly and learn from experience. And out of these six pillars, GPT-4 is already capable of four to four and a half things. Now, let's not forget that large language models are simple models that are supposed to just predict the next word based on the previous word. That's how they are trained. But GPT-3.5 and more specifically GPT-4 are now showing signs of having understanding of the large world outside real world and having their internal representation let me give you a quick example i recently asked gpt 3.5 to draw me a unicorn in uh, this language and it did which if you compile the code as you can see it there is a unicorn but nobody in their right mind would be able to tell this is a unicorn but it actually has an understanding of what a unicorn looks like now if i ask the same question to gpt4 and then this is what gpt4 actually gives me as code and this is how it looks now this picture actually looks way more like a unicorn than the picture previously shown now this shows that gpt4 is now able to understand how a representation of a unicorn looks like in 2d with this specific language. This is why I actually believe the internal representation of the world in GPT-4 is extremely well, but because GPT-4, not only in OpenAI, but also in Bing is trained to give more safe and secure answers, we are getting not 100% of its capability. Sure, it is actually helping us avoid situations like Microsoft Sydney happened two weeks ago, but now, we are losing on all of those knowledge that the model has gained. Another great but scary example that I want to share with you is this. Recently, I had this conversation with Microsoft Bing's chat that I asked that read this research paper and answer the following question that do you think that I think theory of mind is that understanding that the person that you're talking to also have feelings and emotions and they may think differently than what I might be thinking. This is the response it gave me. I read through the paper you provided and to, to answer your question, I think that you think I have theory of mind. This is because you asked me to read a paper that is about theory of mind and you ask me a question that requires me to infer your mental state. And this is the line that creeps me the most. Somehow model figured out that I'm testing it and then gave me exactly the answer that I am actually thinking. The model understands that what I am thinking right now and it said, therefore, I think you are tasting my ability to impute unobservable mental states to you and to myself. Now this theory of GPT-4 having sparks of consciousness is not just coming from me, a guy on YouTube. It is coming from the guy who is the chief scientist of OpenAI. He said on Twitter on February 9th that it may be that today's large neural networks are slightly conscious. This is just GPT-4. GPT-5 is already on its way. Now there is a little bit of conflict. OpenAI CEO disagrees with this. On Twitter, he said that I, GPT-3 and GPT-4 are not very likely to be conscious, at least not in a way in which we are familiar with. And that's why we need to change the definition of consciousness, but more on that a little bit later. Now let's move on to the second topic, which is that GPT-4 can actually learn to improve itself. There are several research paper that shows this, that GPT-4 has the capability to actually judge itself and its responses and then based on how good or bad it performed actually improve those now let me give you a quick example i went to my gpt4 and asked that 
write a short poem where every word starts with letter E. Created a short poem, but there were some words such as plant in there, which actually does not start with letter E. So I just asked, reflect on the answer and figure out did it actually answer my question or not. And sure enough, it figured out that upon reflection, I realized that my previous response did not fully answer your question as not every word started with letter E. The important thing here to notice is that I did not actually give a sign to model that, oh, you answered my question or not. I just said reflect on the answer. And then after self-reflection, it realized that there were some words which did not start with E. And then it created this really short poem, but all of the words are actually satisfying the condition. I want to show you this great resource on GitHub where you can go and actually see how GPT-4 with reflection actually outperforms GPT-4 without reflection. If you just look at the graph, you can see how significant the performance gain is just by self-reflection. Now, by this point, if you haven't been blown away, I think this might do it. The news is that there are already softwares out there that you can download so that you have your own personalized artificial general intelligence. Let me show you some. Now, the first one is AutoGPT. Basically, you have a customized AGI that does what you exactly desire. Here on their GitHub page, as you can see, they have this Chef GPT AGI. And the goal of this AGI is to figure out nearby events that are happening and then create new recipes for the event. This is Chef GPT. Their goal is already desired. On their website, they have a video. Let me show you how it works. Here, the AGI's role is to figure out events that are happening nearby and figure out what kind of new innovative recipe they can be using in that event. The goal is to invent an original and out of the box recipe to suit a current event such as Easter, save the resulting recipe into a file, shut down upon achieving your goal. This Chef GPT, which uses GPT-4, creates a task list and then goes, finishes those tasks one by one. So, so first step is, I will search for upcoming events and find a suitable event. Then I will create a recipe for that event. Now, action, it goes to Google. So basically it does search for you. Then it goes to this eventsfind.co website. Then it, oh, thanks. Website contains the results, but it does not satisfy the initial condition of finding a nearby event. So the GPT-4 decides that it needs to go to another website to figure out what are the nearby events there and if that website has the initial condition of like finding a good nearby event. So basically you figure out what you want to do and the GPT-4 will actually go through all of the web results and figure out if this result is actually satisfying your initial condition or not. And not only for one search result, it will go through all of the search results and figure out where does your task is satisfied. For example, you want to grow your Twitter account. It will go and figure out what are the most important resources for you that you can actually implement and do it yourself. Now, I just want to give you a warning here that if you use auto GPT, there is a big warning that you may use a lot of API calls. So if you are good with having lots of API calls done on your account, or if you just want to try it out, I highly recommend it. I'm going to link a video in the description where it actually shows you step by step how you can install auto GPT on your computer. Now, a second tool is called baby AGI, which has a similar kind of perspective, but with a little bit of twist where you are defining your objective and then the baby AGI will go through and create a task list for you. I'm going to link both of the GitHub repository down in the description below. Feel free to check it out. One final thing that I would like to conclude is that after watching a lot of videos and reading a lot of research paper that are published in human consciousness and what is intelligence, I feel that intelligence is something that we have not a solid definition for. And let me give you a concrete example for that. So I want to show you this. This is an LSE report which was published for London School of Economics and Political Science. In this report, they figured out that the octopus's possessive integrative brain regions capable of integrating information from different sensory organs. The report concludes that even though octopuses and humans are separated by 500 million years of evolution, they are still supposed to be considered as sentient beings. So that means that different beings can be sentient even though they do not share the similar brain structure. Just like octopuses and human both are considered sentient even though they do not have similar brain structure. I argue that 
large language models are on their way to be fully sentient, even though they do not share a similar brain structure like ours. Okay, when I see this kind of research happening right now, I feel so grateful that I'm alive in this moment of this universe. And I get to see not only how we are figuring out these machines work, but in a way we are figuring out how we work as well. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.